open up the stratigraphy types table by double clicking on the stratigraphy types item within the project manager project tables types tables group unlike the lithology types table the stratigraphy types table was not imported from the Excel file within the previous exercise. Instead, the table was automatically created based on the names and relative order of the stratigraphic units that were referenced within the imported boreholes. The order represents the relative age of each stratigraphic unit, with the oldest or lowermost having the highest number. Given that these order numbers were automatically determined when importing the Excel file, it's a good idea to double check their relative sequence. Because no stratigraphy types table was included within the Excel import, the program set every unit to pattern number zero with a white background and black lines. To change these patterns, double click on a pattern cell. Each time you click on a pattern cell, a menu will appear that allows you to select patterns and colors from the RockWorks pattern library. This menu also allows you to design your own patterns if you don't see what you want. The remaining columns, fill percent, density, and shown in legend are identical to the lithology types table discussed within the previous exercise. Be sure to assign different background colors to each formation pattern if you plan on displaying stratigraphy within 3D diagrams. 3D plots use only the background color to display the formation. Patterns are not shown. whereas 2D diagrams have options to display patterns, background colors, or both. 